Oh no! No champagne! Look everyone. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Notice anything different about me? I feel like there's a mozzie just coming. There's something scooting across the roof. Um, evening all! We've both got things to show off. I can take mine off. <laughs> I've got to do! Woo! Got a haircut back. Yay, I'm back to me. I think I heard her feelings the other day when I said, you just lost your mojo with your hair. So she's gone and seen good old Deb. Our amazing hairdresser, Deb. So I'll quickly do a close I spoke to my hairdresser today. I can't go and see mine, she's down in Melbourne. I'm in, I'm done. Hello, look, there we go. Cup and Spoon by Erin, now that I know who Cup and Spoon by Erin is. Hello, Deb Doll Tone. Good to see you. Um, Shane, Jade, woo, look and look. So I'm excited. Oh, yep. Phone won't talk to me. Surprise, surprise. Try again. I oh, know your code. You do, 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 do. Do, do. Is there. You're a do, do. Roger that. Excellent. So, um, and Mick's got a surprise too. Your turn. Your turn to show off. I'm going to actually. What's my surprise? I'm going to strip what you've got on because you can't see it from where you are I wouldn't think um who else is <laughs> looks great thanks Deb god love you Ooh, got me got thingo stuck on me um... there we are live there we go I'm gonna whip this off and I'm gonna There's join Mick cousin Jade and... hello Rosa hello Sam hey kids the buffalo and I are hanging out together Edward said you look normal again ah, there wow you go. that's good <laughs> we haven't done I anything do. to boost it's our been signal ages. we have taken it off Oh, when you say normal, does it mean our phone's not playing up? No, no, my hair. Poor Edward. I look normal. Ed, Ned, Buffalo, he gets that many names, that kid. He's a good kid, though. All right. G'day, John. How are you, buddy? John Atherton has joined. Yep, absolutely. Good job. So, and this is our other little surprise. Oh, well, you can see. It looks back to front, doesn't it? Look what we got today. <clears throat> they, I haven't washed them. They, they come in the mail. They literally turned up today. So. You had something... I just had my, that thing around my neck stuck in my okay, necklace. So that's just that's your little rat's tail. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> it looks quite funny. So has everyone seen the um, the notification that we've done about, hello, Michelle, God love you. We love is you, Michelle. Is that my Michelle? Your Michelle. Yes, it is. Yay, friends. Yay. No, no. My Michelle. There's something. Thank you, Michelle. It's not very often out of the two of us that someone gets Spoiled. Um, yeah, I get everything. I get jewellery and all sorts of stuff. Haircuts and but hair stuff and... Zachary. And mind you, I did get beer for a little while. You did get beer for a little while. But now I've got lots of nuts. Yes. So did Michelle not. was nice enough to organise pie nuts, which is one of my favourite things to roast and enjoy. Exactly. So I love you very much for that. Thank you. Yes. Um, I even thought yeah, about how I said I'd get one if you get the aprons. Or pie them. <laughs> Can I share with everyone? Michelle's given Mick some um, pine nuts and Sam... Apparently I must talk a lot about how much I love roasted pine nuts. I could roast pine nuts and just eat them on the TV. And the note that came with them for Mick, not for Joe yes. <laughs> I love it. So Told you I'd look after you Mick. Thanks Gorge. Exactly. I do appreciate it because I put... And it is right though, whenever you think a texture would be good, like even we did that pumpkin stuff that went... When we did our uh, raviolis, guys, we used our leftover stuffing and put them into the pizza pocket type things that we did for you guys. So it's a great recipe for doing that type of thing. We had leftover. We actually also put in that potato soup we did. Remember the potato soup? I had some of that frozen. We so put that in the pizza pockets. Because it was quite... It goes solid when it's cold and they were delicious. They were delicious. Nice. But you know it would so, be really good in both of them just to add a texture stuff. thing to it? Roasted pine nuts. Absolutely. Would have been perfect in both of them. Lachlan Gordon, our Blinky Bill, has, oh. jo has joined us, which is really what nice. What were talking about just the other day about that? Oh, I'm not sure. Bernie Teasdale has joined us hmm. as well. Very sexy, love the hair. Um, hey, okay. Bernie. You're talking Sammy to me, Bateman. right? Yay, aprons, exactly. Actually, I've been out all day. I just went and brushed my hair. I didn't look at myself. You look beautiful. I'm so. Keep talking. So, um, <laughs> no. I'm going to talk dogs. about tonight's cook. Why those dogs pat me? T tonight's cook, guys. Have you seen the the title of tonight's cook? We are so pumped about tonight. I know what I'm going to do tonight after the cook. Eat. Eat Netflix and chill. Yeah. Because I'm going to be having donut holes. 
Pump, made with pumpkin. Pumpkin donut holes. Not kidding. They're incredible. They're the bomb. They are easy. We're going to do it right Very now. Easy. We're going to, we will get underway. Hey, Jay Armstrong. Hello. Bruce Pine Nuts has a snack. There you go. See? Lucy Carlson. Hey, Mal. How you going? What did Lockie say? How's the hair on the on the bloke looking fresh, awesome stuff, guys? You can talk. Oh, you can <laughs> Hello, be a part-time model. No, it's not pumpkin pie, Rosa. No. Everyone's thought that because we have got mixed spice. So I make my own, but Are you we- gonna put up a thing on the website about making your own? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. And I'll put up a bit of the video about us you making You can buy it. Mick bought some to make sure that we could actually say to you guys, you can buy mixed spice. So you can buy mixed spice, it's a masterpiece product. It's in Coles, it'll be in Woolies. But let's get going so that we're not boring you guys too heavily. Um, everyone thought it would be a pumpkin, oh, pumpkin and coconut cake. No, no way more fun. Exactly. Way more fun. What's and way shows? easier. <laughs> Netflix and chill. Men getting excited. Glad yeah. I tuned in. Let's get started. I've already done this. We had a practice go at this, and that's exactly what we did. We Netflix and chill, and I ate pumpkin donut Many, holes. many pumpkin donut holes. All right, so we are fortunate. We're going to do a little cheat. We've got the oh, potato ricer. Absolutely. So we'll Haven't tried this way before, but... So this is just the uh, roasted pumpkin that we did the other day. Remember I had some left over? It's pumpkin wheat. So it's been in the fridge. So we're just going to chop it in there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You, you're going to measure how much? In a minute, first? you're going to put it back into here. And then oh, we'll measure right. how much we need. So may as well mash the whole lot. We'll put in the potato ricer. It's going to be nice and... Quick. And then we can make more pizza pockets that are left over. Yep. Oh, no, we can't. We're just going to make some dough. So that's all right. good. I haven't got a drink, guys, so just bear with me. Mick's got a beer, and I don't have a drink, which is not good. <laughs> this isn't working all that good for a small container. Oh, no. Coming out the top. Oh, no. If you're going to buy a um, potato ricer, get a good quality one. Yeah, ours is a good quality can you one. Can a bowl? Yep. Please. I don't care if it comes out the top, as long as it's... I'm only doing this so we don't have to mix it all up with the things that will take the... Yeah, that. Don't yeah. know yet. Might have to mash it with a fork. I did the other night I mashed it No, it'll still mash. It's just going to be mashed in the container. <laughs> you leave some skin on. You leave some skin on. Love potato, that uh, pumpkin skin. Roger through there. And lift and shift. I can't remember how much pumpkin we need, actually. Um, Must be heaps better. There we go. Should that'll be mashed Yeah. There you go, it's worked anyway. So I said, it doesn't matter if top, it'll still be mashed. Beautiful. And that'll be heaps. Yeah. I was Great. surprised how little amount of pumpkin it takes, but... It's good. Oh. Go with the roasting. You can always boil it, but, Jeez. you know, roasting's way better. Uh, where's our cup measure? No, don't boil it. Please don't boil it. Roast pumpkin just tastes so much better than steamed or boring pumpkin. Exactly. So we're going to go three quarters of a cup of mashed. So we did this in this order so that we could use sort of a small amount of dishes, right? So three quarters of a cup of pumpkin into a bowl. So wet ingredients is going to go in here and Mick's going to give it a, a mix up. And then I'm going to... I'm going to use my big hands because we haven't thought about some of this, I think, guys, because I've got to get hang this on, blade hang on, out. Hang on, hang on, No, 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 we're going to go the wet stuff first. Yeah, but what's going to get it into here? Okay, I've got... This is a sifter that's got a lid... Uh, it's got a hole... A what's, bottom opposite, on. what's the opposite to a lid? A bottom on it. A removable bottom? It has so. Tough wet. They think of everything. I'll tell you, I've had this stuff for... I think we were having a years. bit of a laugh with um, Michelle earlier about bottoms. We were nuts and bottoms and butts, nuts and butts. Nuts and butts. It was so. Righto, so that's our flour in. But like I said, we're going to get our wet stuff happening first, which is a um, third of a cup of vegetable oil. Or we always use olive oil, but the olive oil that I've got at the moment is not... Um, it's virgin, so it's got a real sort of grassy taste to it, which I don't oh, want. Oh, yeah, not do any jokes. Sunflower. I sunflower remember that oil. joke for virgin stuff. Virgin stuff, no. So this is sunflower oil, so that's going to go in with the potato. I think we've got an egg and some milk as well. Do you want to grab out the milk? I was going to grab out the egg, but yep. 
egg, ta-da. Uh, bang that on there. How much milk? Half a cup, please. So we're just going to give that a bit of a quick beat up. Really in the sink. Tell I haven't been home all day. I've been to hairdressers, literally, most of the day. I went find an electrician. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So then we'll give this a quick beat, which is going to be a little bit noisy, but it's super quick. Once the dry goes in, it's literally a batter that we're going to put into some mini muffin pans. So that's the other thing, guys. This recipe is oven baked. So they're not fried in fat. If you've got a mini muffin pan, you know, the mini ones, the little tiny ones, this is all it is. We're going to um, put it through a, well, a scoop of my bag, actually. Yep, into the oven. Makes about 36, that's only a 24, but we'll start with 24. We're just going to do a few. And then we're going to, um, so you're good to go on that one. So that's with the um, pumpkin as well. We'll read a few more <laughs> nuts and buns. Tell and you want to make sure much. that your pumpkin's like well mixed up and nice and smooth, real puree -y. Because we're trying to make donuts, yeah? Yeah. So it is quite a thick mixture. It's a batter at the end of the day. Hello, how are you, pal? Isabel. Shane McClellan. Holy moly. Curly, curly. I like your shock absorbers um, thing today, mate. I'll just go be a giggle. Nelly, my bestie, has just joined as well. Uh, I love you. Uh, it's not going through because it's cold, because it was heated earlier. Oh, yeah, it is cold. That's why. Rose has just said. The pumpkin didn't go through the ricer because it's cold. Alright, so thank you for that little tip. See, we don't know everything. Um, there's a lot of stuff we don't know at all. So we've got two teaspoons of baking powder. They're going to make these donut holes light and fluffy. We've got half a teaspoon of salt as well. And did you do the mixed spice as well? No, that's no. why I've got it sitting there. Rog, no worries. Uh, mixed spice is a teaspoon. No, it's not my spice. Mix. Wait, the, what are you saying with this measure? Is? You've gone and Stuck you've in walked in well. from a haircut and you've just wrecked everything. Turn the joint into a tip. So I'm just pouring everything into here and a bit of nutmeg as well. So like I said, this is my homemade one when I did, um, I didn't have any when I had to do hot cross buns at Easter, so I just made my own. And it's beautiful if you've got fresh um, cinnamon. It's really yummy, but as we said, you can get it at Coles or Safeway or what's that other place called? Uh, and a pinch of nutmeg. And literally you just want a pinch. We sort of overdid it the other night. Yeah, we did a little bit. Yeah. So it had the old, had the old uh, fall out of the hole factor and went a bit nuts. So we're gonna lift the lid off that for a second. I'm gonna sift this in. Isn't that the magic one that just fits on the top? No, it might do. Not oh. top of where thick of these things, no. There you go. Look Not that. quite. Well, yeah. It's gotta be sifted though, guys, plus you want your um, baking powder and everything. Mix then gonna give this another um, quick whiz up. And then we're going to, like I said, stick it into a bag. Kylie, that. how are you, gorgeous one? Last Kylie, yeah. Yep, that Kylie. Oh, see, it's... Just touch it, yep, there we go. Just As touch it, just touch it. Kylie Dunstan, guys. What sort of pumpkin? We call Mars. Butter uh, nut. Was it butter nut? Uh, this one was actually... Same from the neighbours. Donated to us by the neighbours, they left it on our letterbox. Pete and Leanne. Yeah, you would have seen the post that I did if you're on Instagram. Oh, I think it went on Facebook too. There we go. So Watch this video on your TV. Thanks. Roger, what sort of part? Oh, yeah. I didn't see the other day. Oh. Roger. Who's that number new? No. Greenwood 9497. So we've got a lot of new visitors popping in, guys. Make everyone feel welcome because we were again on the radio on Wednesday on Triple M Bendigo. Um, we got a lot of nice new um, followers. So we want to make everyone um, feel welcome. This seems awfully doughy. Milk to put milk in, didn't you? Yep. And the oil? Yep. No, no. Nah, just lift it up. Yep. Don't you love it when you just think on your feet? 
Absolutely. Do you reckon this is, this is not the same density? Don't reckon? No. Turn off. Yep, no, that'll be beautiful. Oh, no, it'll be beautiful, but it's not the same density as the other day. Yeah, it's pretty close. Pull that off. I did this mm. bit, I think. What are you doing, woman? Getting off the beaters. There we go. Exactly the same. So, like we said, it's a batter. You don't want it light. Get rid of those. Beaters. <laughs> Put them somewhere safe, because you know what's going to happen to them. <gasps> Another one. Got it all over my hands. How am I going to let them down? And, well... She put them in the sink. Out. I can't lick them. No licking! Oh, we tell you what we haven't put in is, um... Do, no, no, I did vanilla, didn't I? Don't know. Did I do vanilla, guys? Did you see me put vanilla? I don't know that I have. No, I haven't, because this is Shane brand new. said we didn't visit him. We didn't go to Bendigo, mate. We had to do a... We've been doing the radio um, live from home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So throw in some vanilla essence as well. And now... Did you not do the vanilla? You sure? 100% because I tasted it. That's how big that we hadn't put it in. Watch back, guys, because I saw her with the vanilla in her hand. All right. Going to fold so, the vanilla in. All right. So now we have got a piping bag. I did say let's use a piping bag, but we thought, look, if you ever haven't got one, just get. In this case, it's a this scoop and weigh. This is a ziplock bag. A ziplock bag. Scoop and weigh. You're going to donate it in a cup. This is the cup that Jodie Ann's going to make me a Snickers milkshake in later. Being pro do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a Snickers milkshake using dates. And homemade ice cream. Oh yeah, there's the homemade ice cream part. So just going to spray this out. You did this the other day, so you did a really good job. Hopefully I can... We want that all covered. I'm going to grab a... Do you want me to hold that? What's so then? this is going to be a squeeze, that mix going to squeeze and I'm going to cut, believe it uh, or not. So two gonna... people, because it's a thick dough, it's pretty hard to get into these little small tubs otherwise. So not saying there's not better solutions out there, but you know what? This one works. Um, where's my scissors? Yeah. We are going to... And we won't use all this batter anyway, but... And Makes a lot of donuts, guys. When I did this, Jodian goes, oh, we'll leave a lot of dough probably in the bag. We didn't. Oh, my God, it was amazing. We are able to squeeze the dough out really easy. Right so on. that's for a little bit later. So I'll move that out I of the way. I hate piping bags. I've just got a thing about piping bags. Absolutely. We've how got messy they we've are. Got, we've got throw away. Hey, Trisha. Cooking demonstrations, and you refuse to use them. Yeah, I know. They're drying yeah, nuts. Why? I said two minutes. Oh, you've already done the vanilla. Well, I tasted See, it, didn't taste the vanilla Jay, yes, yes, you have, yes! Um, so these are going to be really vanilla ones, apparently. Alright. I'm going to pour that out of there. And we're going to go for it and throw them in the oven. Now these take about 10 to 12 minutes on 180, the oven. Real quick and easy. Cut a corner off. Oh, Not so big this time. Beautiful. Scissors for Jodie Ann. Now, where will we do this? Just so you can see with how well we work as a team. We were talking about, imagine if we had done this on MKR, because it would have looked amazing. What would we have done for MKR? These. So just a blob, cut, lift. So it's about blob, three, cut, lift. three quarters of a mini muffin pan. It's literally just a ball. Walnut size, I'd say. Beautiful. And you wait till these come out, guys. We, we literally stood and watched them rising in the oven. And we were so excited. It's like Christmas. Um, so you'd be able to do this on your own. Yeah, the, but the other thing you could do if you've got... One of those really tiny scoop things. We don't have a... People who drink and cook together, stay together. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
the like the ice cream scoops, but I don't have a really tiny one. That's I a reckon big one. That's a big this one. is the the best way to go about it. Yeah. Bang. So believe it or not, they're going to turn into balls. Promise you. Now we even thought Don't about um, a quick zip around and show. Right, um, that's it. So even though they look flat, do you reckon you're missing something? Oh, what have you missed? The egg. You tasted that. Yes. What? What? Oh, sugar. Ah. No sugar. Brown sugar. Holy no! There we go. It's right there. Crazy. Let's see what happens. Just chuck it back in and we'll give it a quick mix. Oh, you reckon? Absolutely. We're starting from scratch, guys. This is what happens. How'd you come up with that? Oh, because you just tasted it. Tasted it. I tasted you there was can, no vanilla. You couldn't taste it. There was no so, sugar. Scoop out with a spoon. Oh. Oh. It's after, guys. No. Crisis averted. Too happy about hair and... Um, oh, it's going to be thicker. Um, hair and aprons. Oh my god. Seriously. This is why we didn't make it to the end of the show. <laughs> you know we'd never fail like this on the show. Oh no, we did because our um, dessert, our um, our ice cream was. We worked well, harder. Yeah, but what was the other one? The um. Our brandy snap plates that were meant to be brandy snap baskets. <laughs> Holy hell. Can you give me a bit here? Yeah. Go for it, love. And then I'll scoop that out when you clean that. Done that. Should all catch up at the end of the day. Hey, they're not cooked. Wait till you see them. How do we leave the sugar out? Too busy talking. Yeah. Well, it's sitting there, like literally sitting there. <clears throat> so that will be. Um, oh, there we go. New bag. <laughs> Feel like the, the two muppets. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. The chef. Oh, no, there's only one guy. Righto, happy with that? Well, sugar in. Sugar in. Raw jaw. Now, uh, beaters. Uh, now, I'll scrape. Let me just scrape the pan out, guys. How's that? And here you go. I haven't had a mouthful of drink yet. So, that's crazy. First mouthful. Alright. Hey, maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's what it is. I have not had a mouthful of champagne. <coughs> All right. Maybe some more milk. There's a different one. Mix there. Mix there. Beautiful. Oh. All right. So. Be that big of an issue actually with the with the tray. Um, you know what I'm there laughing? I hope so. We are live television, guys. That's what happens. Beautiful. That'll be fine. Get my hands a wash. Yeah, beautiful. Like that. Yeah, who was that one? Smiley. You're right, Smiley. I'll take them out and I'll put them aside this time. Oh, you can't save. <laughs> See, if I had to lick those beaters, oh. I would have tasted the flavour. That's why you lick the beaters. It's a flavour check. <laughs> uh, so, full spray. Spray new bag. See that? Looking more like it. Beautiful. <gasps> new apron. Dirty. Christened. 
dirty apron. Like, so right. clean, you can eat off it. There we go. Right. So, hasn't this thing got a jet button? Yeah, it has. <laughs> you can have the bed to stop. Alright, so these are now just sitting aside for later. See? Look. That tastes better. Alright. So, I'm a bit of a convert to this whole, um, particularly with bags. See, when you've got. Um, what do you call them? The ones that I don't like, that I own? Piping bags. Piping bags. You've got to wash them and it's, they're just, I don't like them. Rather than throw a plastic bag away in the landfill. Well, we recycle our plastics, our soft plastics. We recycle plastics. our water too. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Joy's being married. You're allowed to have a different opinion. Exactly. Joy's, That's your job. Joy's being married. Just do what she says, it's easier. All right. So. 18 years of training, 19 years of training, worked. I think her, I let her think she's allowed to be the boss. Yes. And I say, um, mix the boss because I say so. So for you, those of you who didn't catch the first time. Oh, sorry. Yes, if you've just joined us, we didn't put the sugar in our batter. So we've pulled it all back out, thrown it back in. Crisis averted. We're back to schedule. Hello, Melissa Bartoloni. Good to see you. <laughs> take two. All right, there. Skizzers. Cut. Take two. Oh, here oh, we go. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Don't celebrate. Cut. Hilarious. get to learn the different flavors and you'll you know even when you make sauces or anything like that you should always taste it before anyone eats it yes so before yeah. you serve it to people taste it because you'll go oh a bit more salt or a bit more pepper or a bit more lemongrass or that's how you learn and that's how you serve people good food so 10 to 12 that's how you serve donuts with sugar in them 10 to 12 minutes so i've put it on for eight and then i'm going to turn them around so it might end up taking 13 or 14 by the time I open it up and turn it because that's because all ovens have a hot and cold spot. Yep. Um, well, nearly all ovens. But at least we're done, so we can hopefully catch up on um, taste it all the time. Nelly's saying hi, smiley, which is awesome. Um, that's a beautiful batter. I can't believe it's got pumpkin in it. Sam Johnson. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Um, but no, pumpkin yeah. and cinnamon go so well together. Well, pumpkin and spices, yeah. And pumpkin's good with sweet, it's good with nutmeg at all. I think everyone thought that we'd be doing something a bit American, you know what I mean? Because the Yanks love their pumpkin and... Um, Carving it out and putting the face on it. Yeah, which they do uh, Halloween. Plus they do their pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving and all that sort of stuff as well. So what we've got here too, because every good donut has what? Well, you know when you go to the markets and stuff like that, they throw them into sugar, but if you have cinnamon donuts, the round ones, so we're using the whole, um, you have cinnamon and sugar. So we've literally got, it's a tablespoon of cinnamon and what, three quarters of a cup of sugar, I think so. Yep. Roughly just regular white sugar. So when these guys come out of the oven, 
not deep fried. We are going to dip them into um, some melted butter so that the sugar's got something to stick to. Then we're going to scoop them around and you're going to see, you're going to watch the magic happen, which is amazing. So when you're doing this, um, give yourselves a nice Sorry. big wide tray, roll them around and give yourself plenty of room. Yep. Um, I can say at the front of the head, I don't right, but let's get rid of those. Our empty ones, now that our sugar one's empty. Finally, oh my god, that's going to be a ripper one. Alright, uh, now, so what news other than that have we got? I don't well, know. I have got some news. Congratulations to you. Oh. Yes, I did. So, yes. you're looking at a little winner here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, Jodie Ann went and entered her um, chicken and Chinese sweet corn, chicken. Chinese chicken and sweet corn recipe that she, you created that one on your own. I did. I was a bit dubious. It was done out of... Did it in a fresh cooker? It was done with a neighbour's rooster. No, no, that wasn't, it was two um, chicken breasts. Oh, was it? Yep. Oh. And I've got the recipes on our blog. I did a blog on it. Um, Put it into Australia's... Australia's Best Recipes. Um, which that is one this month? June. Uh, June. Yeah, recipe of the month for June. Well done. Congratulations yeah. to you. Yeah. So that was really good. So um, it, Australia's Best Recipes is Australia's biggest recipe sharing website. website. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was pretty chuffed. I got the notification on Tuesday, it must have been. To did you say, get like a little certificate, a plaque? Or no, something? but I'll tell you what I did get was a visa card for 250 bucks. So I was pretty chuffed about that. Don't tell them that. We're only putting out $30 vouchers here. <laughs> well, you know, we're also not earning a wage, so it was it came at a really handy time, guys, let me tell you. So um, yeah. It's really good. Um, yeah, I forgot about that news. So that was good. That's we, very good news. Might as well, we can go with the um, other news too, I guess, with the... Um, well done, Jodie Ann. Thank you. Um, congratulations for coming in from everywhere. And Sharon Bainbridge as well. Thank you very much. And I've got to say, it is a... It's a banging suit. If you like a suit, especially a, a chicken Chinese, sweet corn, yeah. it's a little bit different, but it's got it's, all the, that... Authentic. It's different. I reckon I spoke to you guys about it, but it's definitely clearly in the blog because yep. it starts with um, a mirepoix or a sofrito. So I actually make it with an onion, um, celery, and carrot, carrot base, which isn't normal for a chicken and sweet corn Chinese chicken and sweet corn soup, but it makes all Got the difference. Got the magic egg through it. The chicken is beautiful through it. Yeah. Um, I was even concerned because of the you use breast, which is can be a little bit harder. We thought it might be dry while you were cooking it at one stage. It's yeah. still come up beautiful. Absolutely. So it's a really good good recipe. Great yeah. recipe. Um, like I said, it's on the web, on our website, champagnefoodonabeerbudget.com.au, and I did it as a blog. So if you join the uh, if you subscribe to that webpage, whenever I do anything like that, you'll get um, an email. I know Deb Daltone's on that, Nelly Narell is on that, um, a few of you guys. Heather is as well. Um oh, these ones could disappear. Just because of the way that Facebook works, I guess. So now Mick is the sous chef. <laughs> I've always been the sous chef. Yeah. I've always been the sous chef. Depends on what it is, though. There's a few. Mick's been um, playing. He's quite um, excited about our. Um, what's that thing called? Waffle line. Waffle line. Yes. So he's probably been, the best waffle line in the world, though. I reckon. He's been making um, some pretty exciting things with the waffle line, so we're working on a recipe for that. that so that's gonna be all Mick. Um, yeah, so so you're not always. Makes I like sense. to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, now, oh, I am gonna get back to my drink. That's gotta be the difference, guys, don't you reckon? To miss an ingredient like that while it's sitting there, right in front of us. I think it's just because you've been out for the day and you're so excited about it. You pumped about the hair. <laughs> Jodie Ann goes out for the day and then has to tell me for two hours about her day. Yeah, I've heard a story. Man. I've heard a story. This is not a. Don't go into it. I heard a story when Jodie Ann got home that went for about fifteen minutes about a person. I have no idea who that. And it's sad. Never met them. No idea who they are. But Very nice lady. About 
Chicken waffles are my favourite. Please do tell oh, Shano oh, oh. what's That's the deal with that. Interesting. Chicken I'm waffle. assuming um, chicken mints, maybe? Let us know. That's Let us know. Um, so I've actually, I've been just playing with um, doing a really easy thing where I shred uh, through the... Um, grate? Grate some potato, raw potato, chuck it in the microwave for two minutes with a few herbs and spices, like I always love to put in smoked paprika because it just gives you that nice barbecue it's been cooked on a barbie sort of flavour. I had it for breakfast too. Salt and pepper. It was delicious. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Um, in a fry pan, just did some bacon, onion, very similar to your, what were your little potato rosti things you did? Yeah, it was a bit of a similar start to the, you remember we did but the potato rosti so a easy. couple of weeks ago, when potato week? Zap the potato in the microwave, fold of the uh, cooked bacon, oh, onion. There was a little bit of butter in as I went as well, because the butter helps it make it not sticky and everything. I played around because once it cools down, let it cool, throw in an egg, mix that through, because that makes it all bind. Threw it in a waffle iron. Yeah, Put it And I'll put a um, fried egg on top for you. So it melted over the top. It was really delicious. I'm a big one for that over a sweet waffle personally and then holiday Savory. sauce to just top it off was Yum. just it was good yeah it was it was a very nice good brunch Colin with 14 Geelong 7 thank you John plenty of John cut a pies you're a pie man aren't you is that right my amazing new pot holders from Moaba Bakery yeah my own bakery gave us these I've, I've fallen in love with them because they work as a trivet as well oh yeah true too so you take them off and you put hot pans down you they hang on your wrist. They're awesome. I can't believe I didn't know they existed. Alright, nine. So I'm going to go with another four on there. And see how we go. And then, do we have to cool right? down? Yeah, doing what they do. Um, do, do we wait for them to cool down? I can't remember. No. We did them a few nights ago. We did them a few nights ago after a long day. <gasps> Was it last Sunday? We knew that we were going to do these on Monday. It was the weekend Monday. and we, it was a nice day. Movie cook. We, had, we, we ate them all watching, doing Netflix, I think. Mm. Mm. Nally said, I did your perfect steak last night. It was perfect. The I thought Trev did all the cooking. That steak, our... Uh, Oil on first, good seasoning. Heaps of seasoning. Absolutely. Trev does a good steak, though, I thought. Oh, there we go. Shane's saying, I'll be at the pub working on Saturday. So I can give you my recipe. Um, so I went past the Turumbri pub tonight on my way home from Echuca, and not that most of you guys would know what we're talking about, but it was the first time that our local pub in our tiny little town of 200 people um, was open. And I think they can only fit, they're only allowed 10 people, correct me if I'm wrong, Shane. Um, but they would have been, they would have been at capacity because I could see everyone That's through right, the windows. Yeah. But it looked they did, inviting, I let me tell you. I think you've got a book, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, now leave season, season, season. Um, girl. So you're getting used to, I know Nelly was never real big on the salt and the pepper. Are you getting used to doing that, my darling? That's why they call it seasoning, not salt and pepper. Hot pies. So you're still having a crack. That's good. Excellent. The pub will be open tomorrow night for 5 p.m. And we're, oh, 20 people. There we go. Excellent. Are they doing meals? Ah, oh, good girl, Nelly. Excellent. This is good. Sorry if we're boring people about local stuff, but you know. Uh, now, who's in hot spots in be. Melbourne um, or wherever that you live? Who cares? With. Um, Let's not talk about COVID. Well, I'd like to find out if people oh. are. There's people that aren't allowed to leave their homes now in so Melbourne. So don't leave your home. That's it. Yep, that's good. Open Saturday from 11. Yes, they're doing meals. Beautiful. There you go. What got the time fast cook for us for change? Aprons. Let us know what you think about the aprons. We're yeah, what do you think, guys? Trying out some different merch. They're not, I'm not going to lie, washed they're not them. the highest quality aprons in the world. Yeah, it's about... But it's um, an apron to stop you getting your dirty and flour and stuff. Yeah. Or getting mix on you. Look, I've already done I would one. have been if I still lived in Victoria. I live in Dallas Broadmeadows. Courtney's just joined. Hello, Gorge. 
I think we can get away for selling them for, what, are you reckon 20 bucks we'll get away with? Yeah, I think we've worked out 20 bucks and then um, postage on top. So, I mean, it's not bad. The, um, you, if you look online, most merch aprons are, you know, the $45 mark and stuff like that. And we want people to actually buy them rather than, you know, not. Just want to get us out there. All right, you've done that timer. That's yep. got to be getting close. It will be. It will make a noise when it is ready to go. Oh, what we will want is... Pop a little bit more. We might have mucked around with the mixture a little bit too much is what scares me. Yeah. Baking powder was in there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You said you put it in. I yeah, did. Um, I feel like we're missing something now. We've missed something so easy. No, it's going. Um... So, but what I'll do, I'm actually going to put this recipe up as a blog because it's, it's smashing. It's really, really good. Um, and the Someone said they want an photos. Shane wants an apron. Greg Lawson. Hey, Hi, Robbie. Buddy. Good to see ya. Caught saying, what are we cooking? We're cooking pumpkin um, donut holes. So, I'm not convinced that these are enough time at this stage. No, neither am I. Guys. Just gonna fork them. Yeah, no, they're good. Now last time we cooked them we saw thought the same thing, didn't we? We went, ugh. I don't yeah. think they're done. And you did your little check and they were. We broke one open. Yep. So they can be a little bit deceiving to look at. Yep, so we're going to, you're going to take that over there like that. Yep. We're going to take it off there first though. Take it off there. Got those burning little fingies. That one there. Oh, that one's upside down now though because I've played around with it. Beautiful. And we're going to try and rush through this because, sorry guys, with our little stuff up. Sorry, Dom. Now, they won't look like anything yet. Because they don't look like anything. Um, oh, that? They all even came out. Until they go into the cinnamon. Because at the moment they kind of look a bit like little muffins, which we did thought you the same. Did that yet? I did. But... Um, I'd say that needs a pinsy bit more. So, the next step is the butter um, and the cinnamon sugar, obviously. So, it's literally just some melted butter and we dip them into the butter and then straight into the sugar and... So about 100, 100, 125 mil, uh, grams. grams of butter. Do it into a cup or something so you can dip it in there. Because all I did uh, when we did them on the weekend was two forks, in, out, in, out. Well, we had a thing going, so. Yeah. What are you going to put them on? Oh, here we go. It's the whole plating thing again. Hopeless. We're organised. I'm obviously, I just, because, maybe because I'm no good at it, I don't think of it. You know what I mean? Oh, is that the reason? Maybe. Because these are so hot, they're actually taking on the shape of our little things on the floor over. Because we did let ours cool right. the other day in the... Um, so I would leave them to cool in your little mini muffin pan for, you know, two, three minutes before I go flipping them out. We're going with the psychedelic plate again, by the looks of it. Roger. Well, I was going to use the plate that you got out. Well, no. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get one out. <laughs> so. How'd that go? It's yeah. butter. It's melted. Yep. What are you doing? Mm. Yep, she'll be right. What are you doing? I'm going to dip and you're going to, do you want me to put them into that? Am I dipping or are you dipping? You're there. So I'm tossing? Yeah, oh. well, that's what we did last time. Right. You want to swap jobs? Do you um, like your job? No. So, are we watching what Mick's doing? So I've just stabbed him with a fork. Because the holes disappear under the sugar. Yeah, so bang. And this is how quick this goes. Let the excess butter drain You want off. the excess off. 
that's why the forks to go. We mucked around with tongs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, oh, I didn't stab that one well. Stab it properly. And drop. And hey, I wonder if you can do. You need to do. You need to fork with two hands. No. Because then you're ready to go. How about you go and get forked? <laughs> Beautiful. You fork with two so hands. So five at a time. Fork with two hands. What are you we talking about? Five at a time on the tossing. All right. The tossing. Here we go. And watch the magic happen. Beautiful. Donut holes. Go. Excess. So, um, what we found with these two guys, just so you know, is that once they're good for a party, um, serve them up like this is great. If you leave them sit overnight in a container or something. Oh, they go a bit funny. You end up with a bit of a syrup from all the sugar, um, the butter, the cinnamon, I'd which it still tastes all right, but you end up with this syrup in yeah. the bottom. I reckon if you put them in the fridge, maybe, because we've been watching movies, so we left them on the coffee table. Um, in a sealed container. But, but honestly, I think once you've, um, yeah, we did have them in a sealed container. Once you start eating them. You can't <laughs> stop. You're not going to want to stop. Are they looking like donut holes yet? They have are. It, have a taste of one. In a second. Okay, I'm gonna do a lot. Yeah, may as well. I want a whole big pile of donut holes. So, whoever invented donut holes, what a ripper. Seriously. We did two trays of them, because the batter will, no, what did it give us, actually? 36 got... or 40, maybe? I can't remember. It was a lot. It was a tray and a half sort of thing. So 24 and 12. So yeah, around about 30, 36, um, with the recipe that we'll give you which I'll tell is a lot. Like I gave it my best shot and I still haven't finished them. No, I've, well, I threw them out. Oh, I'll never get to finish them. But I got <laughs> fresh ones. Exactly. I want to do a big pile in the center. And Jane, I don't need to photo because I photographed the other day. They look Take really a photo good. of these ones and you can choice. Right, get there. Beautiful. But uh, seriously, they're the every, bit as, every bit as good as going to the market. Oh, what was the other donut shop? I you know, you used to watch them when you were a kid. They'd come down the race and then they'd flip into the oil and then they'd flip back out. And... We'll open one up for you in a second. What was it called? Um, oh, Wendy's. Wendy's. So these are nothing like, what's another expensive joint? These are good. They beautiful. really are. I, I'm not into lying. If Jodie Ann does a recipe and you could do one that I was like, eh, I'm not a big fan. I, I love a donut. That was the best thing about going to the market with mum when you were a kid. You get to have donuts. Um, and these are good. And fast. So it's heaps of fun for the kids, seriously. Like we've made a mistake and they're done in 48 minutes. That includes talking and catching up with you guys. Well, yeah, we talked a lot at the start, so. I've got my tea towel, I've got my apron. I've just wiped my hands. <laughs> I've got my tea towel. Righto. Break one open. Oh, sorry. There you go. But I'm going to go over and show you guys. Here so, you moist, yummy donut. And when you Here put we... it in your gob, it's like having a warm donut. Can you show them the... Donut holes. Donut holes. Made from pumpkin. <laughs> How good's that? I have some market jam donuts in the freezer because they're delicious. I love them. They uh, are awesome. Oh, I haven't tried the donuts at the Moama market. Uh, at the Moama. And no, if you serve them up to people, there's no way they can they guess crazy. what the magic ingredient is. Donut King. Yes, Donut King. 
Exactly. Are they as good as the other day? Yeah. So because we didn't make a full batch, I will smash them tonight. I, do you know what I reckon? Another two minutes in the A oven. touch longer. They're probably a little bit too moist. A little like dumb. Which I can blame Jodie Ann for. She just got too impatient to pull them out quick. Um, Only a touch though. And I still don't mind it though. It's still a nice yeah, flavour in them. Probably didn't help that we mucked around with the sugar and stuff. If we had done the recipe properly from the start, it would have been better. Um, you'll see if you if you go to the web page and sign up, because um, I'll be doing this as a blog probably next week, you'll see the photos that I've done. They are light and fluffy, like airy, big po uh, pockets of air holes. They're like a really good donut, strangely enough. And you would, seriously, you go, pumpkin, are you kidding me? No, I... A cup of leftover mashed pumpkin, guys. It somehow works in there. I, yeah. don't, I don't understand it. I yeah. really don't understand it. But it works. It's glorious. It's as if the cinnamon and the pumpkin and the nutmeg mm. all just work together to make this beautiful donut. Well, I, I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? That's what we're saying about pumpkin. The Yanks have probably got it right because they have pumpkin and mixed spice with everything. They do their pumpkin pies. It's got mixed spice in it. Pumpkin scones, all that sort of stuff. But that, and it's a bit quirky, don't you reckon? You know what I mean? It steers it's away from the again. traditional. So, um, yeah, loving it. Absolutely loving it. Time check. Nine minutes to go. So we need to announce... Oh, we have got a winner. And, and we're talk about, um, about irony. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen the winner on, have we, tonight? I don't know that she has been able to make it. The irony of this one is the winner, I actually met her oh. dad this week. Yeah. And her dad lives next door to probably one of our oldest, oldest friends. best friends in Echuca. But they don't live there. They anymore. don't live there anymore, but they yeah. built the house next door. So when I went around to this house to collect something, um, yeah, I met dad and went, is your daughter blah, blah, blah? He went, yeah. There we go. There you go. So. She lives in Melbourne now, our, our winner. Um, so, and you know what? How many people have won now from, she cooked our cookies. She lives I, in Melbourne. So many people are sitting there now going, ooh. Yeah, she, where are we? Um, so she made our cookies, our uh, chocolate and cranberry oat cookies. Yep. It's about the third time that she's done them. Apparently. Took photos of them, Loves they them. looked great. They um, did look as She wrote a little blog about it and she's made, yeah, she's made about three dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the sort of so, stuff we want to see in here. Exactly. So get cooking. Any there's about twenty odd recipes up now on our web page. Thanks, Melly. Um I think you're just being nice because Jody is. Yeah. Yours doesn't Um anyway, so because you're no good at the drum roll. Our winner is Jessica Warner. Well done, Jessica. That was a really good recipe that you did. Um, the cookies looked awesome. Congratulations. So, guys, get on board. Um, I've, I don't know. Yeah, no, I have. I've uploaded our um, interview from Wednesday with Triple M, which was heaps of fun. Uh, thanks to any of the we new followers. We wish we had more time. We had fun with those guys. They're really good. Um, Togo called us cookheads, which, yeah. you know, lucky he's not Scottish. Well, and it was... Oh, I remember Tracy. Tracy from Australia Post. He's a cool kid. Cork. Cork kid. <laughs> um, so, like Mick said at the time, it's probably not the best thing you want to call someone in a, a crowded room a cook head because it might sound a little bit different. Uh, we had fun with Kylie and Kylie. It was good. Absolutely. So, we're doing that for the whole month. Um, but all of this stuff's on the webpage, guys. So, take a look, sign up, do some cooking, give us a post, um, tag us in, let your friends know. Hopefully next month we're going to have um, some more exciting news involving a new couple of sponsors and hopefully we'll be closer to our TV show as well. Um, so that's us mm. for Thursday. For the week. some exciting news next week too. That's us, yes. Oh yeah, we'll absolutely. Have some exciting news next week. Yep. So Thursday will be a really good day to watch as well because Wednesday's going to be a big day and then, mm. yeah, newspapers and stuff like that. One of so. our recipes going to be... Featured oh, who knows? Who knows? again somewhere. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff. 
Um, again, thank you guys for always being here with us and supporting us. Um, yes, we appreciate it. We need it too. Interested in an apron, 20 bucks, and the postage, let us know, DM us, you know how to do it. Anyone and who's looking to possibly sponsor a TV show? <laughs> if you've got a lazy 300k <laughs> or four. Um, and I've also got Stubby Holders back in stock too. So, uh, what did we do last time? We did. Oh, yeah, Stubby Holders are back in stock as well. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, we did a special though, remember? Was it $12 including? Yes, so normally $15 and we said $12 including postage. Just maybe hang on a little bit because we've got to have a little bit of a conversation about the people. Not only one of them, the other ones are okay. Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the herb ones. Not a great print done by a certain. The company. We won't yeah. worry about that. So, but I've still got a couple of your ones, those ones. I've still oh, got a couple okay. of anyway. Everyone does like the spice ones. So, but anyway, that's us, gang. We are over and out. Um, get onto these because they're delicious. They are good. A stubby holders. Get them while they're hot. Absolutely. Um, have a great weekend. For those of you that are in Melbourne and, and in lockdown, play Monopoly. Stay safe. Play Monopoly, stay safe, do the right thing, and hopefully it shouldn't be too long before things return to normal. Um, again, thank you, Michelle from um, Pro Life for looking after us. Looking after you. Mazie's just joined and we're about to head off. Ezzy, Erin, Cup and Spoon, good night. Night, everybody. Um, oh, oh, Sam. Quickly, Sam Closey, thank you for the um, fruit. I didn't get to pick it up today, but I will do next week. You know so, about that one. Yeah, oranges and limes delivered to Fred. Limes. So, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, John, good night. Night, everybody. Thanks, sorry, guys. Sorry about right. our little we'll see you next week. stuff up, and we'll be sure that we're more on the ball on Monday night. <laughs> but take care, everyone. Be good.